Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, I'm going to go over why a clan is a must-have thing in Warframe, either of course for you to be in one or the owner of one. Generally, it's a little easier being in a clan and not the owner of one, but hey, you do you. Whether you play single player most of the time or multiplayer, a clan is definitely still something you should be in, as the amount of benefits you get from simply being in one and the amount of items you can pick up is incredibly high. So let's go take a look at a clan and see exactly why you should join one. If you didn't know, once you join a clan, you can go to your dojo right down here. I think it takes 24 hours to build your clan dojo key. And to join a clan, you just have to go to the area where it's communications, clan, and then pretty much you just have to uh, get invited to one or check clan advertisements and ask to be invited to one. It's a little bit of a pain and might take a little bit, but people are always willing to generally invite you in recruiting chat. So if you want a clan, go to recruiting chat. And let's go take a look why, because the loot and items you get from a clan dojo are very good. Currently, Corgi Cult is my clan, so if anyone wants in it, let me know. I am on PC, I just need to get someone's uh, IGN in order to send an invite, and in order to send an invite, you just can't be in a clan. So yeah, if anyone wants a PC invite, let me know. Usually we record people, recruit people, sorry, on the Discord, so you can always get invited there. So the important things about a clan are essentially all of these little areas here. First off, we have the Energy Lab. As you can see, this is the area and it has what it would this be like the Corpus uh, recreations. Either way, these are all of these beautiful, beautiful creations there. I can never get the uh, uh, factions right. So the reason why you want to get in a clan is quite simply for all of the items. If your items haven't been researched yet, it's a newer clan, but older clans usually have most things researched. So you can replicate anything that's been researched in the clan in order to get the blueprint. As you can see, you can get the Sarah, Prova, Supra, Quanta, Comorex, Cyanex, Psychron, right? Psychron's pretty good early on, I would say. I mean, yeah, you know, not bad, not bad, not bad. Archaplasmor, Noise, Noise, Lens, okay, whew. Aquacor, there are a ton of different weapons for either a Master Rank or for you to use that you can get in the, well, Corpus Research Lab. The Energy Lab, right? Energy lab nice nailed it so you should definitely take a look here if you ever use like squad energy restores or shield restores definitely need that as well right that is all who and the helios i forgot about this bad boy he scans the reason helios is so great is because he scans everything which makes him an ideal companion so that right there is why you want to have a clan and more importantly why you want to have things researched in the energy lab now, let's go take a look at the Chem Lab. This is more for all of the Grenier loot. Okay, it says it up here. Yeah, right. Nice. Nailed it. Mwah. As you can see, less loot, but still a lot. You can get your Detonite Injector research, and that just makes uh, de hen Detonite Ampules and all the other uh, requirements, right? Into one Detonite Injector, but it's pretty costly, so kind of a pain. You can get the Sidon, Quinn Croker, Crash Egg, right? Comac. Ooh, Grantler. You can get the Nux. Currently, my clan is in the middle of researching this because, oh dear lord, it is so expensive if you have a larger clan. So, we'll have the Nux done in another couple of years, maybe. Buzzlock, right? There's just so many different weapons that you can pick up here. More importantly, you can grab the Ignis, and if the clan has uh, done the Ignis Wraith shenanigans ages ago, they can pick up an Ignis Wraith. So all in all, it's good loot that you can get here as well, and it's definitely recommended for you to pick it up. The Squan Ammo Restores aren't as useful as Energy Restores or anything like that, but hey, if you like using these and you use an Ammo Destroyer type of weapon, probably a good idea to do that. Now, let's take a look over in the bio lab. Ooh, 
The biolab has all of the beautiful, beautiful infested loot. Look at that, Demios, Torrid, you can get the mutagen masses there, infested catalysts. Okay, okay, dual Ecor. The Hema, along with the squad health restore large 100, is one of the more expensive things, more so the Hema. So it'll probably take us a while to get those done as well. But other than that, we have all, all the other things here done. Phage, Pox, <gasps> Dual Tox Assist, right? Bubonico, oh, that is a mwah, beautiful weapon. Best one here, IMO. It's just a explosive toxic arc arm cannon. Oh, I love it, right? There's also the Jin here, you know, little companion. Forgot about him. I don't care about him personally, but it's a good idea to get him. Much like with a lot of things in Warframe, there's a ton here you can try out, check out, and level up for mastery rank. So getting in a clan unlocks over a hundred different things for you to level up for mastery rank or to just try out. This next one is gonna be one of the more important. If you go and take a look at the Tenno Lab, you might notice that the Tenno Lab itself has a ton to research. The Tenno Lab has Warframes. It has the Arcwing Launcher segment. It has a ton of different weapons, not weapons I use, but still pretty decent for Master Rank fodder. They have Stims, Cypher times 100, great. Gravimag research must have all these Arcwing guns and weapons, oh my, right? Landing Craft Foundry segment research, Kavant Incubator upgrade segment research. There's so much here, more weapons. You have Nijan, beautiful, lovely, amazing, Warframe, Nutrio Incubator Upgrade, you have a Volt, Must Have Warframe, IMO, Wukong, another Must Have Warframe, like these are all amazing Warframes, especially if you're early on as, oh, Zephyr right there, beautiful, and then you have a couple Arcwings, right, like three actually, so the clan is just such an important thing for you to unlock in the game because of the sheer amount of things it unlocks. Like, look at all of these Warframes, weapons, Arcwings. It's just so much Master Rank and so many different things that you can get so early on in the game. Because you, you might notice, like, what you need to just get the blueprints is only pretty much, uh, like, less than 100,000 credits to get an entire uh, Wukong set up. Oh, it's pretty much 100,000, right? Almost. 75,000? Don't worry about it. So it's not too expensive, and you can just get so many different weapons. So if there's a weapon you really want to try out, you're like, oh my god, this weapon right here? Mwah, looks looks beautiful. Look at that. You can see. You can see the uh, build requirements, so you can A, see if you want to actually build it, and then you can look at the stats on it to know if you want to build it. Like, oh, this is a status weapon. Maybe I don't want to build that. Where's, oh, what about this one? Is this a cool one? You know what, more more crit and status, not too bad, not too bad. Maybe I want to try, oh, this weapon? I love this one personally. Look at that, 45% status, the Lacera, pure status weapon. There's just so many different things you can check out in the clan. There are other places that you can fast travel to, like the Orican Lab, but this is more so just so you can get the Dragon Keys. Dragon Keys are used in order to get, I think they're like the Corrupted mods. You can get the Corrupted or, sorry, the Vaulted mods on Deimos, the ones in the like Dragon Key vaults. Maybe they are Corrupted mods, I can't remember. There's a lot of weird Warframe terminology these days that are just thrown around in my head. So you can get loot from doing that. There's just so much you can get from having and being in a clan you can go to the Ventkid Bash Lab, where it has Yureli and the Ghoul Saw. Maybe one day they'll have more things, but who knows? That's actually all there is to say about that. And they also have the Dry Dock, where you can do a ton of Railjack customization, building, research. And if you have a already set up clan, the Railjack research pretty much kickstarts you into an end game built railjack it just makes it a lot easier building a tier 3 full railjack before you build like uh more parts for it that are uh, acquired from farming either way there's just so much that a clan in warframe unlocks so you'd be kind of foolish not to join one just to get all the free loot and master rank and the customization options right it's just warframe has made 
being in a clan to at least obtain a lot of things very much necessary so it's a warframe must have without a doubt so yeah thank you all for watching as always if you want to support the channel you can send a super thanks join the membership sub like comment down below follow on twitch use twitch prime there you can always use an epic games creator code pupsker if you want to support the channel and buy anything on the epic game store so thank you all and i will see you next time peace